Yo, right there, guys. This is Corbin. Welcome to another Sunday's episode. I've got a couple of sweet announcements to make. Just before we get into the all important questions from you guys, then, as usual, we're going to round things off by shouting out the channel's sponsors. So let's get right into it. So, first off, there is some crazily awesome content on the way. Just yesterday, I uploaded one of the biggest collaboration videos to date on the channel involving myself, Hotted Cartoons, and Hansel. It was insane fun to record with those guys, and I'm pretty sure that that video was just the beginning. We all had a lot of fun and definitely want to play together again and we might even try and get more YouTubers and streamers involved in the chaos and make it even more epic for you guys so that is something that I'm really looking forward to in the coming weeks um, and hopefully you guys will be too. And for those of you who are all about the epic PvP and BG montages on this channel I have a pretty sizable chunk of good news. The next video after this Sunday's episode is going to be a world PvP montage which I'm really really eager to upload. It feels like forever since I've put out a good world PvP video and just like the collabs this montage is the first of many I'm actually going to be aiming for one juicy nicely edited montage style video every week and this is thanks to the support coming in from you guys via patreon which brings me to the last mini update before the questions I started up the patreon page about a month ago and now it's a place where you guys can help out the channel uh, with a monthly pledge of any amount that you are comfortable with and I give you guys something back in return while also being able to put more and more time towards improving the channel and the content for everybody and we have already hit two of the milestone goals. The first milestone was a video quality tune-up. The second milestone goal though is one that I'm sure a lot of you guys will like and that is a weekly epic PvP montage being released here on the channel. The support on the Patreon page uh, means that I'm able to put a lot of hours into getting really good clips and editing them montages really really nicely as well. So the world PvP montage coming up after this Sunday's vid really is the first of many but that is going to be all about that for now and um, really really exciting updates guys um, and now for the questions from you guys. Hayden Milner who seems to ask quite a lot of really good questions I'm going to point out um, asks what are your thoughts on Hansel possibly making more Shadow Priest content? I actually think that it's awesome and um, if I had the patience to really learn and gear up another class I would love to make some content every now and again based on something other than Destro look. I'd also like to think that it would be something kind of weird that not many people play, like an arcane mage or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think that it's awesome for Hansel to be branching off into other classes and specs. It's something different, and a bit of variety is almost always good. Marin Krinjak or Srinjak. No idea if either of those pronunciations were even close to being right, um, but at least I tried. Asks if I have a favourite song or band, or at least a couple of them. Now, for the longest time, I didn't have one favorite group or song. I started out listening to melodic death metal, uh, then I started getting into more technical and electronic stuff, uh, like Cybreed and Celldweller, and I'd also use a lot of this kind of stuff in my videos here on the channel. But after a while, I started listening to different things and mostly heavier genres, um, and that's when my music playlist kind of split in two. The music that you guys hear all of the time in the videos is actually completely separate to the stuff that I have in my own private playlist. So if I had to name a few artists who are awesome to PvP and make movies to, I would have to say Celldweller, uh, Migraine, Cybreed, Rise to Fall, Mercenary, and Fail Emotions. These are all very different groups, some of them heavier than others, uh, but for me their music is amazing for gaming too and it's pretty much golden to an editor. When it comes to my own private playlist though the music is a lot heavier but it's not all metal. I listen to drum and bass and even some softer stuff like Ghosts of Paraguay. But my all time favourite band would have to be Nociceptor. Nociceptor is I think um, a threat signal side project. I'm not 100% sure about that and I haven't really looked into it, but their music is just immense to me. I'm pretty sure that'll be too heavy for a lot of people. It's very technical and complex, and the vocalist literally sounds like his vocal cords are on fire when he performs. It's definitely not video-making material, uh, but my favorite group to listen to without a shadow of a doubt. Nicholas Fromage asks, what is the funniest and what is the best PvP action you have ever seen or done? Just the other day when me, Hotted, Cartoons, and Hansel were recording for the collab, and we almost had the funniest moment I've ever had in the game. We were all just arena away. And then Hod had suddenly mentioned that Swifty had come online. And it was like we were all of one mind. We pretty much all decided instantly uh, that we had to try and gank Swifty. And it was going to just be the funniest thing in the world. And to be honest, the journey there and the atmosphere between us all was the really funny bit. But when we got there, it just didn't work out. It was a pretty big anticlimax, to be honest. And um, I don't want to give too much away as I might go ahead and upload the clip anyways as a kind of bonus clip or a blooper clip or something because even though it failed it was funny as hell anyways. Other than that though it is impossible to name an exact moment that was the undisputed 
uh, funniest moment ever, it feels like at least once every few weeks when playing with Pingu and Dibs and the rest of the guys. Uh, it doesn't matter what game we are playing, we'll end up cracking up in the Skype call, and it's usually over nothing. I actually have a recording on my PC that I keep just for the memories um, of myself, Sophie, Pingu and my little brother playing multiplayer Flash games on some crappy website. Um, and me and Pingu were literally suffocating and we hadn't even started the game. All we were doing was trying to read out our usernames to Sophie so she could invite us to the lobby. Uh, we nearly died, and I might upload that sometime too if enough of you guys want to see it. And the best PvP action I've ever seen, um, which could be controversial to any old school players out there, would have to be the Bone Shock PvP movies, Bone Shock 2 in particular. A lot of people at the time said that Bone Shock videos just don't show any skills, but that is fine by me, the editing was just too good, and to me, the movie felt like the absolute visual embodiment of the Destruction spec during TBC. It was one of those videos that just really inspired me, and not only to PvP, but to learn how to edit myself and try my hand at making videos of my own. Danny Fonseca asks, Do you mind telling me your thought process when you're dueling warriors? I always manage to get them low enough, but I can't seem to break that second wind of theirs. Is it simply that I don't have the damage, or can you relate to this? For me, dueling a warrior is all about chaining him in as much CC as you possibly can, while bursting as hard as you can, then while your CC is DR'd or on cooldown, switch into a more defensive or kiting playstyle until you can destro chain him again. You're gonna need a couple of things, and the first is his succubus, you wanna instantly cast your pet seduce on the warrior as soon as the duel starts, and while it's casting, spam your case of elements to take his spell reflect if he tries to reflect the seduce, your pet seduction is gonna set up your CC chains and act as an alternative to fear. Next, you should spec into Blood Horror. Remember though that Blood Horror can be reflected as well, so a good trick I like to use for landing it um, is to pet seduce the warrior, then stand right in his face when I cast an immolate on him, and as soon as the immolate lands, I hit Blood Horror, and unless they reflect immediately out of the seduce, they're gonna auto attack you and put themselves into the horror effect. While they are horrid, you can Chaos Bolt or Incinerate with the Shadow Fury to follow, and you can maybe even follow this with another seduce. As soon as you are out of CC though, go into survival mode, use your portal as well as you can, um, and use your pet's whiplash to try and keep the warrior off you, and of course don't be afraid to pop any defensive cooldowns that you feel you need to. Then, once you have Shadow Fury and Blood Horror back, pet seduce the warrior again, and use the same base and CC rotation as before, and try and finish the duel. It's pretty effective if you keep the warrior locked down so you can't peel for himself, and you should be just about able to damage through his second win. And if you can't kill him here, go into survival mode again. It does get harder and harder to survive, of course, and um, so you should really be going all in for the kill on the second best attempt, but it is sometimes possible to take a win on the third if you can survive until your CCs are ready once more. And that is really the key for me, only go for big damage on the warrior, and um, when you're able to lock him down with Seduce, Shadow Fury and Horror. Jonathan Zell asks, are you happy with how your life has turned out, or are there some things that you could have done differently, or any difficult life choices? I like to think that my life is still turning out, um, and where I am now is the beginning of something rather than the culmination, but I do think about this quite a bit. I wonder where I'd be right now if I had chosen to study English at university, um, and I think about where I'd be you know, if I hadn't gone after Sophie in college, or if I hadn't started playing World of Warcraft, which my parents hated uh, because I was addicted as hell. Um, but also which eventually led to the creation of this channel. I like to think that I've done good, I always try and make decisions based purely on logic, um, it keeps things simple and clear, but sometimes I suppose that your heart can sort of take over, uh, but I think I've done a pretty good job of finding a balance between what I want and what I need, and I've been fortunate, and it's landed me in a spot today in which I'm really, really happy. Of course there are things that I regret and I won't name them all, uh, because there's just too many for one video, but I think about university sometimes, or where I might be if I'd focus more on my creative writing. Um, but it's not often that I think about this kind of stuff, I just have to look around at the apartment. And Sophie, definitely Sophie, uh, and the channel, and I know that I'm happy where I am. So really good questions from everybody, now moving straight into the channel's sponsors over the past few weeks, starting with Giovanni Mencarel. He donates 6 euros saying, Greetings from Italy, I want to give you something special for letting me start my first hot character an undead warlock like you. Water boss and Helmut Benedict donates 12 euros, choosing to leave no note behind, and that makes him this episode's silent hero. We also have six new patrons backing up the Patreon page with monthly subs, and these are Daniel Ortega, Samuel Russo, Kayvon Cuffey, Matt, Angel Zabata, and Anand Pillay. 
a collection of legends right here. I appreciate every donation hugely, and I hope that I can do you all justice with your thoughts of the current weeks. And that is about it for this Sunday's episode. So thank you all for watching, to those of you still watching for sure, and remember to leave any questions you have for me in the comments down below for a chance at having them answered in the next Sunday's episode. Stay desperate, everyone. Have an awesome day, and I'm going to catch you all a little bit later.